Successful businessmen feel the need to expand, to set up new factories, to make new investments, to find new markets. In crowded, developed countries, this is not always easy. So the entrepreneur in search of new ventures is often forced to look abroad. When he leaves his familiar business world, what does he look for? Indeed, where should he look? Overseas investments call for decisions outside mere balance sheets and financial reports. Of course, the less developed parts of the world offer many opportunities. But here, potential must be weighed against stability since many of the developing countries are not considered particularly stable when compared to those of the first world. Fortunately, there is a country that offers the advantages of the developed world along with the investment opportunities of the underdeveloped. At the southern tip of the African continent lies a vital young nation straddling the first and third worlds, South Africa. South Africa is a paradox, a country of enormous wealth and abundance, and at the same time, in need of development. It is a combination of first and third worlds, a unique mosaic of human society. Western civilization first came here three and a half centuries ago, when a supply station was established on one of the world's great trade routes. South Africa still plays this role. But today, the galleons have been replaced by airlines that connect it with the rest of Africa and the world. From the moment he arrives, the visitor feels at home. First impressions are that the cities here are much like major cities anywhere in the world. Many of the names of the buildings are familiar. Indeed, there are already several thousand foreign companies in South Africa. And apart from this direct investment, indirect investment is worth billions of dollars more. One thing is soon obvious. This is a multinational land. 25 million blacks, whites, coloreds, and Asians divided and subdivided by ethnic differences. Among the blacks alone, there are at least 10 nationalities speaking four major languages and many dialects, some so diverse that they cannot talk to each other. As a result, most people speak the two official languages, Afrikaans and English, and the businessman or immigrant who speaks English will have no problems.